My family and I in our household are protected. We're covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. Welcome to the danger zone, it's Ashley. Everything in this video can be found on a public domain. The full disclaimers down below. And I wish you lots of love and many blessings. And I pray a hedge of protection around you and your household. Say this prayer of protection, read Psalm 91. Nothing in this video is gonna leap out into your home. It will not happen. Listen, if you know that you have a relationship with God, don't click away. You need to know this information. I feel it's super imperative that people do know what's going on out there. And now we know Meghan Markle is a huge part of it. So she recently came to Netflix and said she wanted to do a documentary on one of the co-founders of Black Lives Matter. The one in particular is Patrice Cullors. These women are all voodoo priestess. All three founders of Black Lives Matter practice witchcraft, admittedly. They conjure up the dead, y'all. They mess with spirits. Patrice Cullors, in particular, says she likes to make offerings to her spirits. Notice her eyes are solid black. That's a demonic possession. No wonder Black Lives Matter has been nothing but hell and chaos from the moment it showed up. It's a satanic takeover. That's all it is. These three women practice Aoife, and they claim it is a spiritual movement through the universe to flow through this life with the help of divination. They try to make it out as if Aoife is completely harmless. That's not true. They follow 16 rules, supposedly. They do believe there's one God, but their God's a lot different from the God. They don't believe that Satan exists. Aside from the day that you're born and the day that you're supposed to die, there's not a single event in your life that can't be forecasted or changed when necessary. It's your birthright to be happy, successful, and fulfilled. You're to grow and obtain wisdom through this process. You're reborn through your blood relatives. Heaven's home and earth is just a marketplace, and they're constantly between the two. Not figuratively, but literally, you're a part of the universe. You must never initiate harm towards another human being. Keep that in mind. Never harm the universe in which you're a part of. Keep that in mind. Your temporal and your spiritual capacities should always work together. You're born with a specific path. Your goal is to travel it. Divination provides your roadmap. Their ancestries exist and should always be honored. Sacrifices guarantee success. Keep that in mind. I'm sure this is totally butchered, but their Arissa lives within themselves. Arissa is just a variety of different dead people, spirits. And lastly, they're not to have any fear whatsoever. So knowing what we know and seeing what we've seen, all the destruction, all the chaos, all the death that Black Lives Matter has brought about, especially to the United States, do you feel their honor in their 16 rules? This goes a lot deeper than a lot of people realize. They have admitted making animal sacrifices. They admit to conjuring spirits. They admit to using the hashtag on Twitter as a way to conjure these demons. By the way, Oprah considers herself an Ayami priestess. Our little protege, Ayanla, who wants to fix everybody's life problems, is a self-professed Ayami priestess. This is serious. This is nothing more than witchcraft, black magic, whatever you want to call it. It is what it is. Well, they confess out of their own mouth that they make offering to these spirits. Animal sacrifices, honey, tobacco, molasses, fruit, vegetables, money. Remember, sacrifices make them successful. Do you remember how they were trying to get everybody to chant the names of the deceased? A part of this stuff is casting spells. Hashtag say my name. In which Megan got onto her little audition tape and decided she was going to list off every one of the people that were killed, saying their name, falling into the spell work. Megan was doing her part, strengthening this spell. That was a part of the conjuring process. They were simply coming together collectively and manifesting the spirits from these dead victims. If you don't believe me, listen to this. I'm sharing too much, but we become very intimate with the spirits that we call on regularly, right? Like 
each of them seems to have a different presence and personality. You know, I laugh a lot with Waikisha, you know, and I didn't meet her in her body, right? Mm -hmm. I met her through this work. It's, it's, a, it's a very important practice. Um, hashtags are, for us, are way more than a hashtag. It is um, literally almost resurrecting a spirit so they can work through us to get the work that we need to get done. I started to feel personally connected and responsible and accountable to them, um, both from a deeply political place, but also from a deeply spiritual place. And um, always, you know, in, our, in, in my tradition, you offer things that, that your loved one who passed away would want, you know, um, whether it's like honey or tobacco, things like that. And that's, it's so important, not just for us to be in direct relationship to our people who've passed, but also for them to know they, we've remembered them. Um, I, I believe so many of them work through us. Traditional practice and people who practice, you know, traditions from West African um, places, uh, one of the big things is remembering your ancestors. And I feel like part of the, the story, <clears throat> the building of BLM was about remembering and, and remembering our people not based off of a white supremacist memory, which would be about, you know, slandering them and putting their names in the newspaper and showing their mugshots, and, but instead remembering them from the place that their mothers and their fathers and their family would want us to remember them in, even if we didn't know them personally. So these three witches, uh, Alicia Garson, Opa Tometi, okay, and Patrice Cullors, are using the psyop of the witchcraft religion of Odu Aipa, which concentrates on six points of demonic possession and demonic influence through demonic performance of what libations the definition of libation it means the pouring of a liquid offering during a religious ritual under the guise of black lives matter they're spilling blood as an offering patrice colors loves to call her spell work prayers to pass it off as poetic just like Marina Abramovich does. In this particular ritual that she's doing right here, this spell work, conjuring up demons, was to benefit her brother who is incarcerated and has been for 20 years, upon himself using his free will to break the law. These wings to her are exactly what the pentagram and the circle was for Anton LaVey, used in the way of like a portal, I guess you'd say. Now, using these wings in this ritual, as she does the hashtag on Twitter, in this particular ritual, she's using these wings to conjure evil spirits. She's also dragged the audience into it, asking them to chant a particular word. And these people are falling for it. They are saying this word over and over and over again. Ridiculous. So, unbeknownst to these people, they are involved in conjuring evil spirits. Hey, at the end of the day, all of this is witchcraft. The last thing we need on this planet is more dark energy. I've always heard that Megan was a part of a coven. So please don't for a second be naive enough to think that Megan had no clue that she was giving momentum to that spell. She has been involved with this stuff for quite some time. And it seems like her role in all of this mess is to garner the attention of the next generation of females. Have you not noticed that she's put a lot of attention in little girls, teenagers, young women? She's trying to convince these young people that they're a part of something much bigger than themselves. Satan hates mankind in general, but women especially. God endowed Eve with half his image due to Eve being able to bring life into this world. That's how important women are that Satan targets them specifically. And Megan is a part of Satan's big plan. Not empowering women at all, but destroying them. Do your own research if you don't trust what I'm telling you. Anyhow, getting on with it. If you're a member or a supporter of Black Lives Matter, I pray that you reconsider your stance. You have fallen into a bad trap. And besides that, shouldn't all lives matter? Statistically speaking, more white people than any other race are killed annually by police officers, since that's what supposedly started the Black Lives Matter. Injustices to the black community. 
So getting on with it, out of all three of the founders of Black Lives Matter, if there can be one worse than the next, Patrice Cullors is the one. And this is who Megan's excited to make a documentary for on Netflix. Birds of a feather flock together. I'm sure she has her own set of wings in her big backyard. You know, I always have heard that Doria was neck deep in all this African voodoo and this divination and, you know, spell work. And we've all considered the fact that Harry just may be under a spell. Even big time newspapers and media outlets have said the same thing. Now, knowing what we know, it doesn't seem that far-fetched or funny, does it? I believe it was their third date that they took off to South Africa, and that's where they met up with a voodoo priestess. Allegedly. Hey, it's just not Megan and this group of women. They are all involved in it. That's another video for another day. But not everything is as it seems, I promise. It seems like the entire world is in a state of confusion, and that's nothing more than, you know, Satan. He is the author of confusion. The only way to combat this, you guys, is to keep Christ in your heart. Stay prayed up. Rebuke this darkness. That's the only way we're going to make it through this wicked world. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, just bow your head, confess your sins, and accept Him as your Lord and Savior. And I'm going to be honest, you know, Satan's going to try to fight you on this. It may get a little bumpy, but just keep your faith and know that you're never, ever alone, ever. And together, our light, our love, our faith <laughs> is going to snuff out all that nasty darkness. I promise. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. I'll see you soon and we'll talk fast. Please stay safe and be blessed.